Okay. Okay, so you're, you're fiddling around with the traditional grip. <laughs> you know, you know, eventually we'll get there, right? <laughs> <coughs> well, see, a bunch of the same principles apply. There are, there are distinctions, but there are certain, you know, we have a fulcrum in both hands. We have a guide in both hands, right? We have a wrist turn in one hand and we have a rotation in the other. Right? So in that sense, they're similar and yet that's a big distinction. One is doing this and the other is doing this. To, re to rebound similarly, right? So you know that if it's rebounding, there's going to be a fulcrum. I don't, I don't want to go that rabbit hole. <laughs> it's another kind of worms. <laughs> but, but but it's the similarities that that you might find helpful. One might teach you something about the other, and vice versa. But also, you have the same height of turn or rotation, right? If one stick is coming up this high, then the other has to come up that high. Right, so there's that, right? Just like when we're playing matched. One stick can't be here and the other here. Right? We, have to, we have to get a turn. Now both hands are turning. That, that is similar. me, there is a certain concentration that has to occur because this hand isn't as well trained. It doesn't have the same muscle memory that this hand has. Yeah. Uh, and as I've mentioned, Murray would say, you were born right or left handed? And I said, well, actually, I was born left and they twist me to, to which explains a lot. But uh, you said, well, typically it's your weaker hand that comes along faster, you know, so. <laughs> sure, I agree with that. <laughs> we <Yeah>. really disagree. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> we were working on the alternating drag. Yeah. And I, I had you playing it with no metronome. Okay. Let me, let me stop you there. Again, it doesn't matter whether we're playing traditional or matched, you see, because don't play, don't play it for a second. See, I stopped down. The idea is you want to stop down, down. You want to stop down, 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 down is where we stop. You stop down. You're not. You're stopping up here somewhere. Why? Means you, if I know why. Do you know why? Because you don't have a floor, <clears throat> right? If you even without complete understanding about how the hand works. Right, because I get it. This is what we all go through. Uh, what's most important is you recognize that there should be a floor just by acknowledging the importance, the relevancy of having a floor. It will guide your hands. You, you will say to yourself, I need to slow down, perhaps. Right, because I'm not doing this. I'm not concentrating on what is really a throw, which is really just a wrist turn with a bit of a motion preceding it. See, you're stopping down. That's what you do. Now, when you go up, don't make a note as you're doing right now. Just make make throws. You see, by 
by virtue of leaving the training yourself to leave the bead down, look, you can make a note. That's Murray Spivak. You're so close to the surface, you can't almost can't help but make a note. All you have to do is move this much more and you'll make a tap. And that's all it is. It's the throw you just did with an upstroke. Right. Now, yeah, oh, oh, that right didn't stop down. You had one bad one. Yep. So part of teaching yourself is about recognizing these certain fundamental principles. Oh, it stopped up. Really? Yeah, if this much means that there's something wrong. I'm telling you. And it took me a long time. Well, I can get the technique and I can still stop up. No, you can't. That's not the technique. Left stopped up, right stopped up. There you go. See, it takes that. Oh, left stuff in the air. Uh, now you, now you're paying attention. You weren't paying attention. Ah, now, now, oh, left stopped up. Now your uh, appoggiatura is cleaner. Notice, I'm hearing rap, rap. Right. Right. That's all it is. See, you can actually do it, but you just forget to do it because it doesn't feel like anything to you. The importance of that hasn't entirely registered. And if you go to play other things and you can't get them up to speed, it will it'll be partially probably because you haven't trained yourself to stop. Yeah. This is where we stop. Okay, so this this week we're going to give you a metronome marking. Yeah. I think that's why I didn't give you a metronome marking because I I wanted you just to be able to go slow as you wanted so that you could meditate just like you did. That's it. Right. See, a roll strokes won't work if you don't do that. Okay. Not with this technique. Okay, metronome on, let's say at 40. Let's see what that. Pretty slow. Go ahead and play this quarter notes at 40. Let's just see what it looks like. The right stopping. Okay, now we want to decide on how we're going to play the appoggiatura, how we're going to play the upstroke. And in this case, is it? We have to decide at this speed. You can turn up a little bit if you want, but if you're, this is going to turn into honest to goodness upstrokes. Maybe you want to learn, maybe you want to learn how to just turn from parallel. Why don't you try not turning up to the ceiling? That's what I've been training for the last two weeks. <laughs> Took me a lot of effort, I'll tell you that. So, so you're already in that direction. And then that's the thing. What about three notes? 
you're lifting it up a little bit, but not bad. See, it's there. It's there. Now just play two notes. Now just play two notes in the right. And make, turn that into an up. And make a good throw that stops right there. So you can do that again. Up, oh, up, oh, right? That's got to stop right there. So you can do it. Exactly. Oh, you lifted it up that time. See, that's actually how, act oh, it didn't stop down. It's got to be, no. Nope. Show me where you're going to end up so you can always start from there. Yeah, it's got your downstroke has to end there. Oh, a little high. Ah, that's a good one. There you go. Okay, so you need to work on that. So we're at 40. We'll move it up to 52 and let's see what it looks like there. I agree. It is hard to always get it consistently the same, right? That's the tough bit. Yeah, well, if one beat is stopping up here and the other beat is stopping down here, and this one just has to turn down because it's already up so high, and this one has to turn up and it doesn't know how high because it can't remember how high this one turned. Oh, not too high. There you go. Now, I don't hear much of an appoggiatura. It's kind of non existent, really. your floor. Oh, come on, find your floor. A good, good thing to do, Raph, is to just let your arms hang. I know, it's like, it takes a lot of patience and relaxation. You're going to bring that up. Find the most comfortable place for your body. Well, if that's going to be your floor, then that's where your downstroke has to end up. Ah, uh, there, oh, yep. Yeah. Well, now you've turned it into a half note, which is cool. Oh, right? so we were playing quarter notes, so play quarters, which was I thought already kind of slow, but. Come on. Yeah, that's a good one in the right, good one in the left. OK, put it up to where we're 52. So now put it up to. Uh, put it up to 60. There are really only two things to think about. <laughs> there are a lot more than two, but for the sake of this lesson and where you are right now, in other words, we're, we're thinking about not turning to the ceiling on the appoggiatura and making a downstroke that stops at the floor. That's it. <laughs> if only life was that simple. <laughs> What's funny is it really is. Turn to the ceiling on your up. Come on, you're almost there. On the left, don't turn to the ceiling. Don't turn to the ceiling, stop low on the left. Now, there you go, because you can do it. You're just not used to concentrating to this extent. Okay. It's a deeper meditation than you realize. Okay. Believe me, I get it. Okay, so where we're at 60, put it up to 72. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, 
the left, left, left. But the left is stopping. This isn't fast. Put, put your right hand on your calf. Put your right hand on your calf. That's it. That's all it's doing. Up, down. Up, no. Don't lift it up. Better. Now, put your right hand on the pad and your left on your calf. Play on your calf. Play on your calf. Just stretch your arm out. Play on your calf. Calf. That's all it is. Put them together on the pad. On the surface. stuff but you can do it so you can get this up to you can get this up to what 72 is that right Hadjit? 72 okay cool that's good see that means it's better now you if you practice this and really take it seriously this will help you with everything the problem is is if you're Not used to. You've never studied an instrument, with, you know, with a with a, a a real teacher who puts you through your paces, right? Cut, 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 having come from some very good teachers, but getting to Richard Wilson, it was like a whole other world. What was it that uh, was it? William Kraft. A principal percussionist who I've been over to his house. He's a brilliant composer, written works for the symphony. And uh, you know, he talked about first arriving, you know, for a lesson with uh, Murray Spiebeck. And he said, and he didn't he didn't name any names, but it was like he said it was like going the other deal. From the teachers that I did, it was like going from spam to, to you know, filet mignon. The whole other world. That's how he put it. I thought it was kind of charming. So it's a different way of thinking about playing drums, you know. And so, good. Now you're meditating. Let's take out the uh, single ratum cue. See what that's doing. Shall we go 60? No, no. Well, I, I had you, I think I had you 40 up to 60, didn't I? You did indeed. Okay. Put it on at 60. Me a bigger throw. It's good, Ralph. Can you give me a bigger throw? Look, you're stopping down just fine. You're right at the floor. See? It, which is what, why would a single Radom EQ be different than a. Than it's, it's harder, man. I know. I know it makes no sense. Isn't, isn't that interesting? How the, the clever mind, you know? It feels different, man. I know. I, I hear you. I also feel more comfortable doing this in the ram with you, man. I'm not gonna lie. I do. Okay. So, and it it comes after. It's supposed to be. It's more complicated. I don't know what to say, man. Okay. Well, isn't that interesting? Okay. So, 
Go ahead and put that up to uh, put that up to 72. Keep it going in the right for a sec. What, just the throw? Yeah. Notice my forearm is, it looks different than yours, doesn't it? Listen, I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah. Hear, hear it whizzing, hear it, hear it whizzing through the air. Yeah, it looks better. Okay, so put it down on the surface. Where's your floor? Where's your floor? My my floor is going to be here. My floor is right here. Hi. And it, it the throw doesn't have as much whiz. Dick would say, oh, Kevin, I'm I'm I'm, not, I'm nice and snappy and relaxed. Okay, so go ahead and play the stroke again. You can get that throw to work. You're not raising as high as I am. So you can't really get a big throw in at that speed. Or maybe you can't get it in at a slow speed. Put it back down. So where were we just now? Where did I have? 72. 72. Okay. Put it back down to just put it back down to 60. Uh, put it down to uh, put it down to forty. Okay. 
play with a metronome. Okay, just let's just take a minute on the throw. It's much better, as you can tell. However, you're not able to really get a big throw yet. But clearly, as you said, I feel pretty comfortable playing this. Well, it looks like you, you feel comfortable playing, except when it comes to my challenge <laughs> with regards to you really giving me a big throw. So why can't you, why can't you See, it's really about it's really about this. It's really no watch. Just just do this. You want to be careful that you're not turning this into a a bicep exercise. It's a wrist turn. What happens if you just come up to here? And just turn down. Okay. Now come on up to here. Turn. Go on. If I ask you to turn, let's decide. Okay. So we're turning. What? Well, how? How high is this? You know that place where we're here. You know this place. We talked about it. Where the stick wants to go, this is a Richard Martinezism. At this point, the stick wants to go straight down. Okay, yeah. know that feeling? It's a three finger grip. Feel it? Take the other fingers off. The stick won't change. Doesn't, doesn't change anything. You can put them. They're kind of not even on. They're just in. Uh, oh, <laughs> they're just in kind of position. Yeah, they can touch a little, but. They really haven't look, they have they have nothing to do with it. On, off, on, it shouldn't change it. The character of the sound doesn't change. Okay, so what I want you to do is come up to. Okay, so there, let's go to this position. And remember the idea that as you turn, it clunks into the uh into the palm. Did it, did it clunk into the palm? Right, right there, right there. That's how high I want you to turn. Just to that place where it would fall into the palm. Not any higher. And turn. Do it again. Copy me, copy me. Up, down. Gravity on the way down, right? Okay, right. but I don't want you to do is be using your forearm, in other words, your bicep muscle, so that now the elbow becomes the fulcrum, not the wrist. I want the wrist to be the fulcrum, it leads. Okay, so you got that much. Now, what if we come up to here? Yeah, it just comes up. You don't have to, you don't think about it, you just turn your wrist. And see what happens. And we're up to here. Right? And then it comes down. Good. And then it comes down. It looks you look like Louie, right? In the video. He turns. Right? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, just like that. And then and you're gonna turn. You're down at the floor. Okay, watch. I get it. Okay, see how high this, now notice how high your stick is coming up. Coming all the way up to here, isn't it? Oh, yours is even a little higher. Mine's up about my eyebrow, but we have different body shapes. Okay, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a throw and come up that high. Strong back down. What 
what happened? We need to feel this, right? We want to get to this. We got to feel this. So that at some point, the arm has got to be somewhere around here. Okay? Come on. I didn't get a little higher, huh? Let's see. If this comes over here, I'm doing a, I'm doing a thought experiment. Just a sec. At least have to get up to here. And what we're going to do is lead with the wrist. But it's not, yeah, see, you're, you're down in here somewhere. Show me what this feels like again. Show me this. No, come on, just show me this. Let it come up. Come back down. No, don't, don't play. Just come on up in one smooth, fluid motion. I want the wrist to lead it. That means you can't go too slow or you might have to fake it. You want to just turn your wrist. Not too slow. You just turn your wrist. You turn, you turn your wrist. Turn up, down, up, down, up, down. See, this timing is similar. Up, down, up, down, down, up. Come on all the way down, up, down. Come on all the way down. Just to the floor. Come to the floor. So you should come right to here. Up down there it is up oh, nope now you're just doing this and you're not coming up there now just make a throw and, and feel some of that come on stop stop right here okay hmm. <laughs> watch my Watch my forearm. Watch, watch my forearm. I'll turn a little bit sideways. Right okay. So I'm doing, I'm doing this. Uh, okay, I'll do it like this. This to be in the center. Of the, ah, everything's askew. Oh well. Hopefully you'll be able to see this in the return. So. Okay, so when I just turn, I'm turning up. That's how my forearm moves. Now I'm going to do this. The forearm would come up to about here, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't think yours was. It looks higher now. You're, you were down here. There, that looks right. So it's not just about doing this. Remember, it's about feeling this. Remind yourself of this. Okay, now make a throw. Come on, you got to feel that part of it. You've got to feel this part I of feel it. it. I, I do feel it. Keep going. All right, watch, watch. It's interesting, isn't it? This is where it gets tricky because I'm coming up, watch. Now, even though my forearm might still be coming up, in a sense, you can see the bottom of the wrist still going the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it, it, it looks like this. No, 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 watch. Watch the big top. Watch the top of it. Okay, so we're, we're just going to follow this up and we're turning. Don't stop your forearm. It should be. Should, come on, no, it's not going down. Mine doesn't go down like yours. You're doing something that maybe would be more akin to being down in here. Once I'm coming up this high, just copy my motion. No, it doesn't, it doesn't sit here like this. It does this. Watch. Just flow with me. See if you can capture it. Okay, we're going up. We'll do it in slow motion. Come on, come on up, 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 up. Keep bending, bending, pronate, pronate. Now follow it up, follow it up. Now come on, the forearm's still going up. Come on, the forearm's still going up. Follow it up. Turn your wrist to the ceiling. 
Turk, no! You're close. We'll try again. This can't be me. I'm trying to describe this stuff. You can. No, no. Watch. Just right. it, it, the, it, the tip should should stay there, right? Stay with me. I don't care about any of that right now. See, those are those are words. This is what it feels like for me. Watch. Beads down, 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 lift it up. Everything goes in the opposite direction, but how does it go in the opposite direction? Mine's different than yours. Just so copy me and you'll get this, or you'll get a much bigger, better picture of it and a bigger piece of it. So just copy me. No, no, stay where you were. It was perfect. Yeah. Cool. So we're, we'll call it bending. We'll, we'll call it pronating. We'll, we'll yeah. use worries and roots. Okay, we're pronating, pronating. Forearms going up, pronating, pronating. Now we're going to start to cock the wrist. Cocking the wrist. What's up? No, no, my forearm's not going down. It's not going down. It's almost staying still. It's almost staying still. If anything, I can almost feel, now my elbow's coming down so there's a sleeper angle. Come on, keep turning to the ceiling. Okay. There. Now come down. Let's try it again. I'm gonna bend with watch, but you have to watch me. You know, you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to watch me. Coming on up. In other words, pronating. Pronating. Eee. Pronating. Now we're gonna start to cock. Cock. Look, no, 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 isn't coming down. I'm cocking it. It's but you don't want to cock your wrist and your arm wants to follow. Here. I'm not going to spend too much of your time on this. Well, people no, pick no, up it's on it's it. Let's continue on this. It's, it's good. Let's continue on this. Uh, you like it. I don't want it. I can't stand the downstroke anymore. Now I can't stop you from talking about the downstroke. Yeah, but if I don't get this right, there's no point in the reason. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so watch. When you turn, what does your forearm do? Just a regular turn. No, come on. Turn up this high. It follows a little, doesn't it? It does. Okay, so we're bending, and now you're going to turn your wrist, and we're turning pretty high. So things might be a little different, but when I turn my wrist to planning to go up this high, my forearm doesn't go down, or I can't get up that high. Of course, yeah. Well, you say, of course, well, you're thinking that way. When you go to make, you, there's none of this when you go to make your dance stroke. It's, even though you want to come up high, everything wants to dip right away. It's, it's the proportion is incorrect in terms of the timing of the throw. So let's just, just copy me and stay loose about it. I mean, figuratively and literally. OK, so we're pronating. OK, now it's, imagine if we were at the floor here, down here, and you're going to turn. And leave your arm loose. So it might even want to come up a tiny bit, but the elbow was going to start to dip. Doesn't oh, it? Sorry. Yeah, the elbow. Now. See, the forearm might kind of start, uh, and the elbow's coming in, and everything's heading in the other direction. And now you have it on film, so you can watch. No, no come on, let the, uh, let the forearm. It's as if it wants to come up. And it, look, look, the forearm might even be coming up, but watch what's happening down here. It's going the other direction. This part of the hand is going this way. This part of the hand is going that way. We don't know what the forearm is doing. The elbow seems to be coming in at that point, and then the forearm is going to. So when when it gets to this point, what, what happens? I just rotate my wrist like this. Oh, like that. There, you didn't force your forearm down. You let it be. Yeah. And shouldn't but doesn't the elbow react? Your elbow's not moving at all. Why not? Watch my elbow. Do you want to get into this? Or, or and, and then when it, when it collapses, collapses the whole thing, is that it? Yeah. That's what I feel. Oh, okay. You know, and, and remember, Murray and Dick had a, a slightly different approach to the throw, but it's essentially all the same thing. You're leading with the wrist up and down. So, right? Dick would really have you do this. He'd have you. Murray would have you get to here really soon, right? Maybe this is somewhere kind of in between. I don't know. 
it just it, it becomes very obvious. It's a feeling thing. So, so do, here's what I was going to show you. Go ahead. When when does your forearm start going down? When 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 you're up to go to is when the whole thing collapses, is it? Or? Well, so yeah. like like at this stage, this is when everything collapses, is that it? No, that's what I was about to show you. It, okay. it's, it's a little tricky. It, this took me for like a long time to get. Okay, and I'm trying to accelerate the process by kind of uh, revealing some of my own hangups, perhaps, or or not revealing them, but essentially what I'm showing you is something that I kind of wish maybe someone had showed me sooner or it's how my mind works. So I'm now expressing it that way at this point, but OK. So you said, doesn't the whole thing start to all collapses? Well, what, but watch my elbow. You haven't entered. The elbow hasn't even entered into this. Watch, watch my elbow. There's that forearm thing that's happening, but look at the elbow. Look, it's collapsing. It's collapsing. Look, and then it does that. Mm. You can see it, can't you? Mm -hmm. It's collapsing. So no, it doesn't all collapse at the exact same time. It's a beautiful fluid thing. It's a beautiful fluid. There you go, come on. Better. I'm stopping there on, on that, but that's better. Yes. Good. It's tough to know if I'm doing absolutely correctly right at the end. Now you have this on video. You have a bunch of stuff to think about. Now, it is, what's the throw going to look like down here? Now what are we going to do? Now it looks a little different, doesn't it? It should look different. I mean, you're moving. Yeah, see now, now for me, see, see I'm trying to get, I'm just trying to get, let's see what happens. Let's analyze this. So now I'm gonna, I'm pronated. Okay, I'm pronated. I'm coughing. But we're so, we haven't come up very much. So now the forearm really does start to come down, doesn't it? Let's see how the elbow, let's see, let's check out the elbow. It's coming in. It's a little different down here. It's coming in and my forearm seems to be going down because it has very little time. Everything has to happen in a more condensed way. Right. For the timing. So it's right. essentially the same. But, right. But each piece moves. It's probably a, math, a mathematical equation. Not bad. Don't turn quite so hot, just a little less. Make it a tiny throw. You see? That's what it would feel like down there. That's easier, isn't it, somehow? It's easier. I said so much easier. What, what's happening? So now you're going to start to learn to incorporate a bigger throw. See, there it is. You can see it. Now you know more. Now you know. Okay, so I think you had some revelation here. You can watch back, work on it, have your cup of chai tea or whatever you guys do there. No, your red rose, or your twinings, right? Always with a spot of milk. Now, let's move on to the double router. Okay. Let's take a look at that real quick. Okay, so again, I like this accent. It's not written, is it? But I like this accent because, because of what it, how it challenges you. Doesn't feel like a throw though. Well, it should, it, but I want it to be a throw. May as well write an accent there. Okay. Okay, on the third quarter note. Gonna be the same as the single the rat of the cue in terms of how you're throwing. You're just playing a one quarter note more, meaning a uh, 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 drag. The appoggiator is in the left. Mary's got a little dot. Right? Ah, 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 You 
to give me a big throw. Okay, give me, let, let's do the whole thing kind of, let's do the whole thing more uh, mezzo, okay? Maybe even towards pianissimo. So you're gonna make a little throw. Now I'm gonna, your wish is my command. Or your, yeah, that's it. Right, see how little you move? See if that now. See, I think it's other notes pretty quiet. But cover really come up for an accent. So remember to get the accent, you have to think about the wrist turn. The wrist turn. Ah better. Better. Okay, so where are we? We're 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 40. Yeah. That's good. It's okay, so you can incorporate the uh a bigger throw now. Let's let's pop it up to uh <laughs> I'm not sure about that, man. Well you just did. You can say you didn't, but you, when you look back you'll see you got a you you went like this. You went like this. You stick in your head. Went like this. Check it out. And normally your big throw would be Something like that, where you're kind of shoving down. But but here you went and you went, ah, oh. <laughs> I saw it happen. And the stick was like way up here. Right? Don't you see Murray in the video? Maybe you need to watch Murray. Murray's like in traditional grip, he's like this. Or in traditional grip, he's like. Oh, this. yeah. Oh, and he's, yeah. he's got these big paws. And he's like, see, hey, this is where your power comes from. And he's way up here. How are you going to get way up there if you're doing this? Right? He's way up here. He's got he's got Louis Belson doing doing exactly this. You said, oh yeah, I look like Louis. See? There you go. And look, then he has him cock again. Why don't you cock again? Just to prove it to you. No, cock again. No. He didn't say one big cock which always confused me, right? He said, and then you can cock again for even more power. So you're, you're, you're here, and then it's gonna come up to here. No, you just gotta get to the first place. He says, and then you can cock your wrist again. No, it really, there you go. And he says, and you can even pull with your fingers on the way down for more thrust. That's a lot of, that's a lot of <laughs> Boom, you see, we don't, up here uh, that's not what we're doing okay now you're the energy is way behind you i don't think that's what we do there you go there you're freeing up your body oh much better dude okay. i know exactly what you mean i know exactly what you mean. all right so now exactly what you mean. so now let's uh let, but, uh, go ahead and put it up to 60. You, you got the single up to 72. I why? Because, I mean, yeah, okay, I know, I understand. It kind of makes sense because I always thought, well, it's here, so now if it's to cock the wrist, then it's to cock the wrist and it's here. But no, actually, the forearm can actually go up. And I just saved you to 10 years of me thinking like that. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> All right, so now what I want you to do is put it up to 60 and let's just see if you can. So the real, the real gig for you here. You don't really have a problem with your appoggiatoras. You see, you always come to the floor no matter what with this Rademacue. And, and so you just need to learn how to get some height and leave everything alone. I told you. Three finger grip, turn your wrist, lead, pronate, cock, thrust or throw. Okay, now go ahead and Go ahead and put the uh, metronome up to 72. Nah. <laughs> You're tripping. <laughs> well, I'm going to spend time with this. So I think you can get it up. The speed and the throw. A little better? Not bad. Now, now uh, uh, what, here's where Dick would say, ah, he'd scream it at you. 
bottom of the bead. I'm not going to duplicate him screaming. Thank you. <laughs> totally on your side, though. Screaming at you, but come totally on your side. Okay, so yeah. So you now, now that you're ah uh, ah, uh, uh, you're really trying to. You, what you don't want to, what you don't want to do is is lavish up the upstroke. Ah uh, ah uh, uh, tip, because you're trying to get the throw in. Ah uh, ah uh, uh, tip. Ah, 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 tip. We really want to be patient and get the timing of it. So it goes ah, ah, tip, bottom of the bead. Ah, bottom of the bead. Ah, bottom, B bottom of the bead. Okay, so you don't you don't want to miss getting the bottom of the bead and rushing the up, yanking it up with your arm. Okay, so you want to be aware of that, and I'll mention that in your notes. Okay, so you're at 72. Metronome back down to uh, back down to 40. Okay, now we're gonna play the triple ratamacue. You've graduated to the triple ratamacue. There's no quadruple ratamacue, although I'm sure you're gonna make one up, but there isn't officially. Ah, that was a good one. You got that zonk without a lot of effort. You don't want to shove down. You want to turn down. Let everything collapse, unravel. So what I'm doing, go ahead. I feel I should just practice the throw and nothing else. <laughs> that's that's the resistance is futile. Right? The board. Eventually you're gonna have to get the throw together. Resisting getting the throw together is futile. Okay, so watch. So here's what I'm doing. We're gonna break it down just one more time. Because I had to think about it too. I watched you play and I so what am I doing? So uh, essentially, especially. Uh, so I'm I'm turning. So here here are my first two notes, or first two chord notes. Okay. So. Okay. So ah, uh, let's see. Ah. Uh, so this is just turning from from here, essentially. Okay. So and and this one is turning a little higher. So you have one turning for two notes from parallel, from the floor. Ah, 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 now the left is turning, ah, 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 Okay, now you see I had I had a another level of discipline. And it's not always perfect, but as the speed comes up, you'll find that it, it you you really will gravitate. Maybe there's a pun intended there, to not turning to the ceiling for your appoggiatoras. You don't need that much volume. They're not supposed to be loud. And by by leaving the bead down, it'll make your up really easy. You'll really get the bottom of the bead for your big throw, right? The one hand can turn to the ceiling, and the other hand isn't. So just do that for a minute for me. Nope, I want to hear the uh, the drag. You see why I, I, we've been working on the drag? Here it is in a slightly different form. Play in the center. I got to hear two notes in the in the right. And when you're ready, make a down throw when you're right. There you go. Now go the other way and feel what that feels like. Well, you're right. You're left turning to the up ceiling. Where's the discipline? There it is. Oh, right's not at the floor. Come on, just practice that. Have fun with it. You know, it's like a, it seems like a nothing little thing. This will come up in so many strokes and so much of your playing. And when you're ready, go da da da. Make a dance look in the left. Big one. 
turning up to this feeling. You already forgot it. Try again. Concentrate on it. No, the left does not turn to the ceiling. The left is just turning from the floor. It's the right that's turning to the ceiling. It's the opposite of what you just did going the other way. Try it again. Agitores from the floor and, and that note playing the core note, which in this case is the right, will turn to the ceiling a little. Remember, he's got it dotted, there's little dots. Just go the one way, just budgetory in the left. What if you felt it in the right? No, you're, come on, just bend from the floor on your left. When you're ready, make a big throw on your left. That's what it's going to feel like. Now do it the other way. Do it the other way. Do it again. Just do it until you feel comfortable and you're ready to make a throw. No, no, spend a little time meditating. Right's turning from the floor, left gets to turn to the ceiling a little. When the right, and look how, look, look how easy it would be to go up in the, in the right. Do you feel it? All you have to do is just follow that up. The wrist is already breaking a little, isn't it? That's what it's going to feel like. So I'm going to leave you, and I'm going to pres prescribe to you that remedial exercise to, and we'll do that with a double rat if do as well, right? Because, can we? Let's see. Well, maybe not. Well, it's the same thing then. You're just doing this thing. It's the same thing. You could use it with all, you could use it with all the rat. Oh, see, I wasn't doing it. I was busy yakking, and my left was turning to the ceiling. Right? Ah, 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 ah. Right? And so you see, ba -ba -da, ah, 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 let's see. Here's your, now you've just got to drag going one way. And I'm turning a little bit for the, because remember it's a three stroke roll. It's also a three stroke roll. So now I'm turning them both a little. I'll just try it, just join me. Now left, I'm turning my left up a little higher. So it's going to turn into doubles at about that height. And I'm just turning the right, turning the right a little higher so it gets a dot. If not, we could. Just doing this. Can you do that? Nice and easy. That's pretty solid. Not too bad. All right. Put the metronome on at uh, 88. I put it on at 84. Okay, we're kind of in stick control territory now, aren't we? According to Murray, that's where page five should go to, or start at. See how relaxed that is? Yeah. 
go the other way. Look, you're at the floor. Look at how the floor is looming its beautiful head. Around the floor. Okay, so now that you feel that floor, go ahead and play. Uh, Have a stroke rule there. Once you get that, once you go into doubles, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one to seven. Yeah, so. Where's the big throw? You see, though, it's coming along. See, now you have your floor. And your big throw isn't going to stir any of this. Because you'll be at the you'll be at the at the floor. So you can always count on things originating from a very safe place. Right? This is home sweet home. You never want to abandon it. Okay. So yeah, I'll just have you do that. To play doubles. Where did I have you doing that? Where, where, I had you at 80, 84. See how similar everything is connected. So, like a three-stroke roll without a throw, maybe. It's so, okay. Put the metronome at 104. Let's see if you can get it up to that. Which one? Which speed? 104. I was just at 104, which is really slow, really. But if you can play this properly, you'll be able to speed it up. Ah, uh, look at your rock. You felt it. You were up in the air. When you watch this back, you'll notice. Play doubles for a little while. Once you once you go from your three-stroke roll, so go from the street, three-stroke roll. Oh, okay. da -da 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 -da. That is doubles. I just have the stroke roll and always come back to the floor. Come on, come on up, come on up. Higher. Get that arm free. Turn your wrist. Ah. No, I was about to say and stop because you were right at the floor. There, boom. Boom! Two good ones. Let's stop while you're ahead. Okay. I know if you don't leave the lesson somewhat jangled, I didn't do my job. No, no. Okay. Okay, so we got we made progress today. In that you now have a better you have more res you have more respect for the floor. You do. You also have an awareness with regards to some of your misguided thinking with regards to a really big throw. Yeah. Right? And now you're thinking about it differently. Ah. Uh, okay, so we've loosened you up and massaged some of those kinks out of the system, right? So that we can let the arms follow. It's all a wrist turn. It's all one smooth motion like this. Do it for me, no stick. 
It's not bad. Put on your put your hand on your leg. Go on up. Not bad. Come on up. Hey, look, come up, up, up above my head. Yeah, I want to get you loosened up. Yeah, do it again and come on up and say hi. Stop. In the name of technique. Okay. Come on up. One more time. Okay, and then let it all. It's the essentiality of it, where you want to be loose enough so that things follow and flow. Okay. Down here, this is where what Dick would say is really pertinent. You say, oh, Kevin, just lift a little two pound weight right here. Uh -huh. Good, 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 good. But Kevin, wrap. Put your hand on your leg. Back it up a little bit so you're not too far forward. Give you one last little thing. Down here, this really, I, I felt, I just thought, felt it. So I, I mentioned you. Dick would say, just lift a little two pound weight right here. Go on, lift a little two pound weight on your. Huh? And then turn. Come on back a little more so your arm is really by your side. Yeah, put your, put your hand. Right, open, spread your hand open, open up your hand, flatten it out, right? Okay, now I just lift a little two pound weight right there. See, all you have to do to lift that little two pound weight is kind of, it bend. Mm -hmm. right? There's not gonna be any of this follow through. We're just lifting a two, although that's how a, how this starts. That's Even big throw, you lift a little two pound weight and you follow it up. Down here, it's really easy. Little two pound weight and it all collapses from there, like that. All right, turning off the camera, I'm stopping while I'm ahead. I made sense to you, I know I did. Good job, Raf. Thank you, mate. You're welcome.